Today, I want to share with you a mantra that I use with my meditation every morning so as to set the tone for the day and not to be pulled into the sick world of toxic people. So here goes. I love and respect all forms of life. However, I will not date bacteria unless I'm making yogurt. I have no interest in being friends with tapeworms. I will not allow poisonous snakes into my garden. I won't kill or harm them, but I'm not going to let my personal uh, physical and spiritual energies mix with theirs, either personally or online. Now, I'm not looking down on bacteria, plankton or poisonous snakes because they have their place in this ecosystem and they are useful. And I won't call toxic people assholes either because, well, assholes are useful too. I accept that some people behave like amoeba and vipers because they don't have the capacity to, and they don't understand what it is to be human. And I don't understand their lack of humanity, for which I am grateful, I feel so blessed and proud that I don't. But I will do what is within my control, which is to walk away. Now, once I walk away, that would automatically raise my spiritual frequency. And when I raise my spiritual frequency, I will encounter people on a similar path where we can you know, support each other in our growth. Now, we all have our own unique paths. But I will not be dragged into the muddy paths of these toxic people because they want your company, you know, they want company in their misery. Instead, I will walk with those that seek beauty by being beauty, those that seek joy by being joyful, those that seek fulfillment by living a life of purpose, integrity and self-awareness, those that seek kindness and compassion by being kind and compassionate, but at the very least, not being cruel. And lastly, I wish them well. By that, I mean whatever they deserve. You know, you're the only person who's responsible for your happiness, for your own fulfillment. Nobody is, and nobody can help you with that. So the only thing you can do is to cut off these toxic people who don't support your growth, who don't even understand your growth, who doesn't understand what it is to be human. You know, you can't afford to have those people pull you down because who is going to be responsible for your happiness? Nobody, not even your parents, not even someone who loves you dearly. They cannot. It's not possible for them to be responsible for your happiness and therefore you have to do it yourself, and by doing it yourself, you're already halfway, more than halfway, once you cut off toxic people. Because once you cut them off, you're, you know, that's all you have to do. Your spiritual frequency will just automatically rise. You know, I hear this kind of advice from so many people, and yet it didn't really sink into me. It didn't, I didn't understand it on a cellular level until one day I was either brave enough or desperate enough to cut toxic people out of my life. And immediately, well, almost immediately, you know, within weeks, my circle of friends changed. The people from my past, good people from my past, came back to me. Either they found me online or a mutual friend reconnected us. And these are good people. These are good people that I didn't appreciate before. These are good people that I didn't understand before. And when good people come back into your life, or new good people come into your life, you know that you've done all the hard work and you deserve all the goodness that you get. You know you've done a good job on yourself. And then it's time to enjoy your life the way you deserve. It's time to enjoy everything that you deserve because you've worked hard for it. Now that takes time because maybe for a very, very long time you weren't there yet. So you got used to abuse. You got used to being mistreated. You got used to toxic people. When you have spiritually arrived, 
all the good stuff that comes to you just feels unfamiliar. It feels uncomfortable. You know what? Get used to it because they're here to stay. Oh, my God.